BitBoy says, XRP will reach $10,000 on this day. U.S. Representative Brad Sherman recently advised the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to go after crypto exchanges that supported Ripple's XRP token. However, in a recent interaction with Fox Business journalist, Eleanor Tourette Sherman made another claim against the token. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. John Deaton, a lawyer representing more than 72,000 XRP holders in a lawsuit against the SEC, told more about Bill Hinman, a former senior SEC official and about the conflict of interest regarding cryptocurrency supervision. According to Deaton's lawyer, despite the fact that Hinman headed the SEC's corporate finance department, he still received more than $9 million in profit sharing from Simpson Thacker Bartlett LLP, a partner of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, EEA. Lawyer Deaton shared documents showing how much Hinman received from the distribution of profits in the period from 2017 to 2018, when he made a controversial speech and actually gave the green light, Ethereum. Hinman received $7. 8 million in profit sharing in 2017 and another $1. 8 million in 2018. Deaton's lawyer added that the funds paid to Hinman as a profit distribution prompted the agency's ethics office to prohibit him from meeting with Simpson Thacker while he was at the SEC. The solution was to prevent Hinman from having a conflict of interest while working at the agency. This is because Simpson Thacker was affiliated with EEA, an organization created to promote Ethereum as an enterprise solution. Receiving any form of payment from the company could encourage Hinman to work in favor of the company. Despite the warnings, Hinman still met with Simpson Thatcher employees several times. That's why a complete ban was imposed on any contact with Simpson Thatcher. However, he repeatedly failed to comply with the requirements of the SEC Ethics Office, Deaton's lawyer said. 2017 Hinman got $7.8M in profit sharing and 2018 he got $1. 8M in profit sharing, in addition to, retirement, money. This is why there was a complete criminal bar against him having any contact with Simpson Thacker. Yet, he disobeyed the SEC Ethics Office again and again. Hinman is considered an integral part of the ongoing litigation between the Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple. For several months, Ripple has been demanding internal documents for Hinman's speech in 2018, where he declared Ethereum not a security. Ripple believes that during the preparation of Hinman's speech in 2018, some SEC representatives discussed Ripple, given its popularity at the time. However, all attempts to get a draft of Hinman's speech did not yield positive results. The SEC has consistently objected to the judge's orders to hand over the documents to Ripple. While nothing interesting is happening in court, observers of the trial are speculating about a possible development of events. Attorney Jeremy Hogan who has been watching the case from the very beginning and, most importantly, comments on it for his subscribers, does not rule out the possibility of an early settlement of the ongoing lawsuit between Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. According to Hogan's lawyer, a settlement agreement between the parties may occur before the end of November. Hogan made such a statement to the question of his subscriber. Hi, Jeremy. About a year ago, you stated that the most likely settlement date would be September 13th. Do you still believe this can happen? A Twitter user asked. Answering the question, Lawyer Hogan said, Most likely. The settlement period is from now until the end of November, because the cards will be on the table. The most likely time frame for calculations is from today until the end of November, because the cards will be on the table. Nevertheless, some experts believe that a settlement agreement is inevitable, based on certain events in the trial. Recall that the court insisted that the SEC submit internal documents that led to the formulation of William Hinman's ambiguous speech. Despite all attempts to hide the documents from Ripple, Judge Sarah Nett Byrne refused to agree with the sex motions. As the SEC still seeks to keep Hinman's documents, John Deaton, an attorney representing more than 72,000 XRP holders in a class action lawsuit against the SEC, believes the agency is likely to agree with Ripple rather than provide the documents to the court. 
the parties jointly propose to regulate the issues of secrecy related to the upcoming petitions for a simplified trial. After a series of disputes that arose during the filing of petitions for the rejection of expert opinions, both Ripple and the SEC filed a joint proposal that will regulate all secrecy issues related to upcoming motions for summary trial. The parties have submitted a joint proposal to resolve the sealing issues related to the upcoming motions for summary trial that will be filed in this case. On behalf of the Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple, we respectfully ask the court to approve the following joint proposal to resolve the secrecy issues related to the upcoming motions for summary judgment the court decisions that will be filed in this case, the parties said. According to the petition, the proposal will provide quick public access to the records of the parties in accordance with the presumption that the public should have free access to court records. In a simplified manner, the parties intend to make editorial changes minimal. In accordance with the proposal, after submitting under seal, the necessary materials for a simplified trial on September 13, 2022, the parties propose to hold a meeting in two days to identify the revisions required by each party. As soon as this is done, the parties will publicly submit edited petitions for a summary judgment on September 19, 2022. This proposal to publish a limited redacted motion for summary judgment caused excitement among the Ripple community, especially attorney Jeremy Hogan, a partner at the law firm Hogan Hogan. Lawyer Hogan urged Ripple enthusiasts to mark September 19, 2022 as the date when the parties will reveal most of their cards. Circle September 19 is the day we get to see most of the cards the parties are holding. Ripple v. SEC. The endgame. It's getting me excited, I'm weird like that. In addition, the parties will file sealed objections to the motions for summary trial on October 18, 2022, and on October 20, 2022, they will meet to determine possible corrections before publicly presenting the edited versions four days later. The parties proposed to submit sealed summaries of responses to the summary judgment on November 15, 2022. In addition, both the SEC and Ripple will meet to determine the corrections requested by each party on November 17, 2022, as well as publish edited summaries of responses in November 21, 2022. The parties also propose to file a lengthy petition for the closure of all materials related to the summary judgment, as well as the proposed revisions, on December 9, 2022. On December 22, 2022, the parties will file objections to the omnibus sealing petitions. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.08% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end, if you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.